Blue blub everyone, welcome back to Tainted Grail with your Gary the Gamerid. That's me, by the way. Hey, um, we will do the boss in this episode. And let's hope we can beat him. I still have only one weird candle left. I may have been a little, well, a little bit weird with those. Shouldn't have used that many. You have to remember the the, uh, the items. Reduce an enemy damage by 50% for two turns. Would be good for the boss, though. Um, one deep breath will be enough. I could have used you, though, to get rid of you. Um, the good thing is neutral cards you can get with any class. So this would be a good class for uh, a good a good card for another class, which can't get the um, the deep breath. Only this bracket can get the uh, the deep breath. The other six classes can't, because the cards change. I mean, of course. We could do the Blade Fury. We are safe for this round. Oh, good. Perfect. I wanted to beat you. And good damage, too. Why the heals? Come on. Don't do that to me. Um, I think we need two blocks. And we need more damage done. Since we block anyway, it doesn't matter if we increase it, his damage. It's worse with the barrier. If you play a, a class with a which which relies on barriers, this this skill is worse. Reduce armor of all enemies or draw two cards. Draw two cards more. No, just reduce their their armor. It's fine. Now the stun cards with re reduction of armor would be re really really good. Um. I'm interested in how they changed the first boss, if at all. This card would be bad against him. Good against the others, though. Let's just use it for you, and then probably murder you. Not quite. Ah, really? All three against him? That was bad luck. That'll hurt. Oh my god, that'll hurt. Wait. Not as much, though. That's why this ability is pretty good. I mean, I don't think I had any block anyway, so... Uh, but let's do block now and attack... I think you. Yeah, he will be healed. It'll be fine. I think we do enough damage now. A deep breath, please. It wasn't necessary, but still fine. Good, 13 damage. Um, that'll hurt. And I think that'll murder. No, almost. He could murder though. Let's just murder. He has the vulnerable, so... Vulnerable is pretty strong. If you can really do many attacks, it's an amazing thing. Because now you're dead. See? It's great. And that's why it's important to increase your base damage. You just murderize everything. That is amazing. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And I can merge them here? Okay. Interesting. And I get... 4 damage. So double. Double again, really. Can I get to 8? That would be amazing. It could be that it's, that it's 2 plus 2 plus 2 now. So 6... I would like if it been eight though, but we will see. We would have, we would need three of those, so six more runes, six more gar. Pretty nice though. Our damage is now really potent. Uh, why does this change all the time? Couldn't it just stay there? Um, our damage is where is it? There, fourteen to twenty-four. Nice. Just base damage, and the cards can increase that. Don't forget it. The Seeking Traveler. Oh, I didn't talk to you. He's just a lost soul, wandering between clouds of weirdness with a fading weird candle in his hand. His eyes light up when he sees you. You notice that he is not actually looking at you. He's looking at your candle. Thank gods. Mine's almost out. Do you have more? 
Please, if you don't help me, I'm done for. Hmm, I have a weird candle. What, what are you looking for? I have to find them. They're somewhere. I know it. I can feel it. And I need to be there. To be by their side. Now. We have another weird candle. Uh, I think. I hope the, the dust stays. I really hope it's one of the currencies that stays. The runestone does, not only the weird stone. Um, we have one more weird candle. Should we give him our last weird candle? We would need this for, need this for the boss. But let's see what it does. If we if we lose, we lose. It's Thank fine. Thank you. I promise to make good use of it. He continues with his search. Trust increased. What trust? To whom? Just to this guy? Huh. There's something and there's something. I want to get these. Problem is we have no weird candle anymore. Oh, that's this guy. Uh, let's talk to him. Or maybe I can't? Oh, I can't. Great, so now my weird candle is out. Well, that's gonna be bad. That is gonna be real bad. I could buy more, I think. Yeah, you know what? We go back to the town and get more weird candles. I'll try. Um. Oh, I cannot get back. Well, that is bad. An old man, clad in the worn robes of a priest, uh -oh. stands in the middle of boiling weirdness. There's nobody around but you. Yet he's shouting as if to a crowd. He waves his hands vigorously as if delivering a sermon. Extra legs to run faster. Oh. Notices you. Uh, me? So am I twisted enough to understand me, or are you still fighting the influence of your new, of our new god? Bow before the weirdness, surrender, and let it bless you with its bounty. Um, shall we bow, or shall we, shall we say he's insane? Don't know what it does. This this event is completely new to me. Anyone? I'm not sure. It'll probably be bad, but it can be good. I don't know. Bow. One or two. Bow insane. Bow insane. One or two. Mir. Still there. Mediline. Okay, if no one is saying anything, we just... Just bow. I mean, just be polite, right? Just be polite to an old man. You're thinking still? It's one or two, Mia. Come on. Just go with your guts. My instinct, instinct says organ. Yes. So? Is that a one or is it a two? But that's not an option. <laughs> bow down. Okay, we bow. I feel the weirdness encroaching until you are fully enveloped within it. After an uncomfortable moment, it dissipates, leaving you with a very strange feeling. We got five armor and lost one damage. Interesting. I mean, it's a net gain of four points. And five armor means 5% less damage, which is nice against us. Damage is way more important, though, so I'd say the deal is crap. But we had to try. We had to try. I don't like that I don't have any weird candles anymore by, with those with those weird events. Weird and bad events. And I just, again, I, I went the wrong way. And it's one enemy before the boss. Or one pack of enemies before the boss. I must say. 
And now we get really bad things. Yeah. Increase... Oh, or we lose two energy. So we lose two energy now or later. Really bad. But I think later because I can do more with a deep breath. So next turn will be pretty bad. And this will hurt. A block for free, that's good. We only have one energy this turn, but we can block one. Uh, all enemies don't care, we are only one. I think this would hurt... No, not now. This would be better, because now both are at vulnerable point. If I can get a whirlwind, I have both vulnerable and can kill one. You're the shaman. This enemy will spawn totems to buff its allies with various effects. Well, apparently you don't. Well, now you do. Um, I can get rid of this and I'll, I'm fine. And now I don't... I cannot attack anymore, which is amazing. Thanks, game. Just do a double block then and probably murder this guy. Cannot murder someone else because no one is vulnerable, but that's fine. One less card in our deck is good. Let's see what the totem does. Uh, totem of the Serpent. This totem reduces the armor of all enemies at the start of each turn, which sucks. Cannot kill it with this. Let's just take a deep breath. It's always a good thing. That's better, but not perfect. I could kill it with this. Yes. And let's just make you more vulnerable to my attacks. Um, next hit does less damage or lose 100 armor. I think we'll lose 100 armor. That's fine. Because this fight is over anyway. Done. Okay, almost level 6. Darn. We get a crack Gar again. That's really good. I want more of those. And we heal 5 damage. That's good. What are you? A famished prisoner. I the hope he can heal with that her again. In rags. Fragments of manacles and chains dangle from his wrists. He doesn't greet you as you approach. He's he a prisoner, speak, of course not. Nor does he beg for his life. He just looks at you with a blank stare. It's Suddenly probably broken, the poor guy. Sword, but you feel no threat in his movements. He makes a gesture, inviting you to train with him. Yes, please. Please give me, give me, give me damage. Oh, even better. Okay. Passives. Uh, fighting spirit gain five percent damage each turn. Consecutive. That would be amazing. Or just five percent damage flat each turn. Just five percent done. Every tenth hit in combat is doubled. Nah, not that good. That this would be better, I think. Well, only depends if I get through many turns and I don't. In and ten hits is way easier with my skills. Increase the maximum damage you deal by three. Flat damage. No, it's the maximum damage again. Not the not not the minimum damage. So it's not quite flat damage. It's just the range gets higher. I think the quint essence is better then. What would you say, Mir? Or anyone else who's watching, for that matter? Would you agree or would you tend to another? I mean, every tenth hit is doubled means like three cards uh, of these small strikes are nine hits and the next one in the next round will be double damage. So every two, that, that means in, thanks Kasmodan and hello, welcome, that means in general every two turns is, uh, is hundred, uh, we get 100% damage. If we say that is us the usual on hits. Maybe every four turns. And that means every turn 25% damage on a hit. In, in um, you know. I vote for another. <laughs> wow, Mir, thanks. Okay, Kasmodan agrees, so we take this one. You know what I, me what I meant? Uh, that means in... In general, we get 25% damage on, on one hit every turn. Which is kinda good. I want to go to the woman and try to heal now. 
Even if it spawns an encounter, that's fine. I oh, that's a milestone. That's even better. Um, I think the blessing is permanent. Or was it? We got five health, right? Yeah, we we healed. Mm, I don't know if the damage boost damage or boost armor is permanent. I mean, we have five armor. We got we got some some health, right? I could get a, a weird candle, which would be good against the boss. Let's take a weird candle then. Where was the woman? The the priestess is she gone? Apparently, I cannot interact with her anymore. Uh, I could, by the way, gotten the weirdness away. I could have boosted the the radius of that thing and don't uh, and and wouldn't have needed to use it up. But I mean, does it really matter if there's a little space without weirdness? No, I think the woman is gone. The priestess, sad. But we have a weird candle, so let's use it right before the boss. Strange that I cannot get back into the village again. That's really strange to me. Before you could. But now you have to fight through this whole area. That is really bad. Well, we are as prepared as we can be, I think. Tainted Force. Gain 50% damage this turn or gain armor. I think the armor is worth more than an action point to me. Or worth more than damage and an action point. And losing an action point. I could make you lose damage. Reduce it. You do you do three damage. That's bad. So, are you the same? This boss will spawn a new enemy after being stunned or effect, uh, after suffering several hits. Okay. So, also after several hits. Interesting. Stun will permanently reduce its armor. It will also lose some armor every few turns. Every turn increases its damage and occasionally inserts special cards into your deck. But good, good cards, I think. Golem will spawn a new enemy after receiving 10, or 10 more hits. Great. Stunning is very potent with this, with this enemy, but it spawns new enemies. Yeah, look at the damage I do at the moment. So maybe 50% damage is nice. But 10% less damage is also good. So 15% less. I think I want to combine these. I should have I should have used this one before. But it's fine. Did you just heal yourself? Look that way. Um I want a deep breath and a double block. What's the gamble? Gain one block and one energy. Draw one card. Lose 10 armor until the end of combat. That is quite a gamble. Because I cannot regain armor this uh, in a good way. But I get an energy, so it's worth it for me. Well, it's not worth it for that. Um, I want you to be vulnerable. Yes. I could have gotten another uh, additional card next turn, which is reduced by one, but don't think it's worth it. Just for free. Two damage. I think I'm gonna stun him. Don't want to lose more armor. Oh, I did lose another 10 armor. Why? Why? Oh, I got the one armor just for one turn, right? That is stupid. That is actually stupid. And it doesn't say it. Um, let's do that so it loses some armor. Good. Yeah, that thing. Oh, that thing hurts. And this timer isn't reset. Very reset. That's really bad. I would like to take the energy though. And another block. Have to do this. I do a lot of damage against these things. Seize the opportunity. Deal one hit. Okay. I mean, thank you. 
and and do this one because he's vulnerable just best possible moment um that is actually fine I still want the double block though but I won't The next hit, by the way, so just one of these three will be doubled, so I shouldn't do this. But I will, it for, will do it for next turn. Oh, there's another. Damn. Should have used the whirlwind, not this. It's fine. More damage this turn or gain armor. Yeah, next turn gain 10 armor, but I thought the armor was for forever. Yeah, and oh, it was probably. I just, I, I want the armor. This is for free, so why not? Um, oh, this would be so good. If I can get rid of him. It's a lot of... It's 30 damage. That This is a 3, by the way. Um, probably bad. Good. And your... De oh my god. Oh wow, this damage. Yeah, minus 75% armor. Right, he loses armor after after he splits. It makes sense. A lot of damage. I like this boss, by the way, because you get bon uh, bonus stuff to murder him. Yeah, let's take a gamble. It's fine. I don't care. He's dead now. Just in case he isn't, though. Hmm, well... Yeah, he's dead. He could be dead. It's fine, he's dead. The first guardian slain. And only a thousand XP away from the next one. And we get a weird candle. Thank you. Just one. Great. It's not much. Double strike. Deal two hits for 100% damage and cleave. This one is really, really good. This one is really good. Quick, eat his organs. It's a stone mirror that has no organs. Steel Eater, reduce enemy's armor by 100% of your damage until the end of combat. This is pretty good. This this has been uh, made better, I think. Short pause, gain 35 armor for two turns. Upgrade if used when under 20... The upgrade is new. When under 25% of max HP, increase the card's duration by one turn. Well... I like the upgrade thing. This mechanic is new and I like the idea, but this one is not good. I would I would ask for one of the first two. This one is a little expensive, but we have ways through um, take, take a deep breath to make them uh, less expensive. So it would be good to take this one. I like this one too, though. I mean, I use it and it, it gives me 20% more damage or something between 12 and or 11 and, and 23 percent damage for the rest of the combat pretty good pretty good to stack those bon bonuses to just get better I actually like the cleave thing though and both hits have cleave so 40 percent damage to all which is pretty good Pretty good card, although a little bit of a bit expensive. We would need to get more action points somehow, and passive abilities can give this to us. What would you say? One or two? One or two? Kasmodan, Mir? Meliline, maybe? No one? My vote is to skip, gotta increase that difficulty. Ah, no. And Kazmodan says three. I don't, I don't like the number three. I don't think this will be good. And skip, no. I don't get anything for skipping uh, either, which is sad. I would, I would like, give me, give me one weird crystal. That would be great. I mean, even in, I don't know, in other, in other card games, you get something if you skip. Even in Monster Train, you get at least 10 bucks. I'll say 3, 2 then, but 3 equals 1 plus 2. Well, I cannot have 1 plus 2. 
Okay, fool it. I get the damage. There it is. Increase your armor by 25 is nice. Get new passives. Heavy opening. First hit in combat deals double damage. Pretty good, actually. You can maybe get, get rid of an, an enemy instantly. Let democracy ruin your life, Gary. Yeah. Three wasn't, wasn't uh, uh, up for voting, though. So you forfeited your vote. Eternal return. At the start of each turn, gain two ultimate charges. Actually pretty strong. Also for us. So every 10 turns, we can easily pull off a mega hit. This is pretty good. I guess the streamer got three votes. Yes, indeed, I do. I, actually, I got only one, but you two forfeited your vote. So that's that means one vote wins. Three was a write-in option. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. So I could actually make an argument for both of these. Because this is essentially two extra hits per round for our ultimate charge. And we can do a lot of hits per round if we want to. Maybe we get the right cards, of course. So this could be really strong. I see this as being way more strong for the, for the Blood Mage, I think. I think the Blood Mage was it. Way better for the Blood Mage. But this is really good for us, too. This is good, too. I don't know what you what you would say. Body of Steel. Why do you always vote what I don't want? Because Body of Steel is nice, but we need more damage, not more, more protection. Well, actually, we do need protection, but not as much. It's just 25% of 25% damage. And the enemies can negate that. That This thing, they cannot negate. So I take this the one. I don't care. You are just trolling me, Mia. Of pieces at your feet. That's not nice. You feel a strange surge of power in the air. Suddenly, a familiar creature appears. Good. That was good. Congratulations. You Why do you sound so condescending? Recognize this voice. It's the goat-legged creature you've met before. You see, the problem with weirdness is that it's an uncontrollable mess. It's the something you want. Really, really want. Snap your fingers. There you go. There it is, right in front of you. He looks at you, clearly unimpressed by the fact that you even exist. If you're Avalonian, that is. You, people of the homelands, never found out how to control this power. And the problem Apparently. is that you tried, because obviously you did. You know which human emotion is the strongest. Greed. In this case, probably greed. Uh, let's say love. Yes, and every answer was correct. All <laughs> of these emotions made an impact on the force like that surrounds us, that envelops this island, and it tried to give back. You hate somebody, wish them death, snap of your fingers, and here you go. A clear personification of your feelings standing right in front of you. However, since you're not a four-armed Avalonian wizard, you can't control it, can you? He pauses, his expression one of hesitance. Maybe he said too much. Anyway, as I've said before, good job. There are three more of those for you to get rid of, and then we can call it a day. This day, this time, in this timeline. Also, another path opened for you, with another surprise at the end. Surprise! Oh, and before you go, I have even more good news for you. Yes, you guessed right. You yes. deserve a Give me. reward. Gimme. A special passive skill or remove a card. Last time he gave me a choice of getting a, a, an armor slot, a weapon slot, or something else. This is different. I don't like it. I want more I want the rune control. Because runes are extremely important in this game. I don't like this. I want the spe uh, special passive skill, though. Uh, stream chat's main purpose in life is to torment the streamer. I have been at the other end of the folly often enough to know this. Well, Mir, you know, torment uh, t to torment someone means he, does, he cannot die. And if we fail, that is not torment, that is just boring. So you may want to torment me in a way that really torments and not kills us. Is the suggestion there. Chad, if I wanted it to be easy, I would do it myself. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, I take the special skill. 
Power circulation, every 10th card played in one combat increases your damage by 10% until the end of combat. That is pretty good. If we had more action points and more card draw, that would be the best thing ever. Draw two more cards in the first turn of combat, which is good. More, more choices. Blood transfusion. After killing an enemy, heal yourself for two HP. Well, that is pretty good. That means after every kill. So we could even farm enemies that spawn others if they can be killed then. So I would say one or three are the, are the strongest ones of those. I like that he gives us passives now, but I still don't like that I cannot get more rune slots. I want more rune slots. Um, what would you say? One or, th one or three. And no, if you say two, I ignore you. Because I don't... I think it's a good skill. Just not in these... Um, with these uh, uh, other options. Not in this conglomeration of skills. Then it's it's not the, not the strongest. I think either the power circulation or the blood transfusion is stronger. You say power, power circulation. Interesting choice. And Kasperdan says three because you want to troll me, of course. Um, I actually don't know. I think healing yourself after every, every enemy killed, if you don't take damage by them, is amazing. Even if you take damage, you take less damage than you would have... Uh, have taken otherwise um, but just more damage is just better <laughs> most of the time if in uh, okay I the weirdness portal sucks me in apparently amazing that's how I get back okay I still think it's strange that the door closes after me um, before that, you could go back and just get more runes or stuff. Now you can't, and I don't like it. As you approach the blacksmith, you hear him angrily mumbling to his anvil. I swear on my name. One day he'll pay. Who oh, are you it talking about? Matter. Not at this point. Now I'm here and happy. It's just an old habit of mine. His eyes say otherwise. Something is clearly on his mind. As I it wanted really to say, I curse people all what the time, right? It's just a habit. You've invited me to your village, and I can now hammer away in peace and safety. Great. Um, I could upgrade his abilities for apparently the rune stone dust, which is nice. Unlock additional armor slots for runes. Oh, that's how you do it now, eh? So, I hope this stays. So, we need to accumulate this dust and then we get more, more slots. That is pretty good. But still, peeves me a little. Unlock additional item slots for combat items. I don't fucking care. Uh, rune, stone, drop chance boost. This is pretty good. This is amazing. By 25%? Forever? Pretty good. Rare rune stores as, a uh, as rewards, which is also pretty good. Mythical rune stores as rewards, which is also pretty good. So you probably want to, to do uh, these two first. We'll see, we'll see. Um, we could exchange something. Swap one of your rune stones to another at this of the same rarity. Do we have another gar? I cannot look it up right now. Great. Uh, can I buy one? No, I bought all of you. I would need two more gar. Okay. That's fine. But th the exchange is pretty good if you have a, um, a rune stone at level 2 that you don't need. Just exchange it for another one at level 2, which is pretty good. It costs, though. It costs money, of course. Uh, who will pay and what were you so angry You're about? You're not giving up, are you? Fine, fine. Aha. I'll tell you. Pesky I little really butter. loved me village and me people. When the army marched through our lands, I thought the All-Mother herself had blessed me. I got a contract to forge soldiers' weapons. But something went wrong. The weapons weakened instead of getting order. So the army blacksmith accused me of treason. They didn't hang me because my people demanded a fair trial. 
but there was no time for one, so the army burned down me workshop and told me to leave. Nice. I had no <laughs> choice. It was that or the noose. This anvil is the one thing that survived the fire. So you want to find out who set you no, up? No, I don't care about that. It was so long ago. It's just a habit of mine. Whenever I work on weapons, I like to get angry. And then I force myself to care. And you get the gist. My only regret from those days is that I didn't get the chance to say goodbye to me, beloved. Silence. He quickly realizes that a question is forming in your mind. Ah, uh, silence. His eyes sparkle as he starts to tell the tale. She was the most beautiful person I have ever met. We would only meet at night, near the water. She didn't speak, true, but we understood each other very well. I miss her every day. So, please, forget what I told you considering the other blacksmith and all that treason. It really doesn't bother me anymore. But Silence, if you ever meet her, please tell her I'm here. If she wants to join us, I promise I'll take care of her. I'd be glad to have someone to talk to besides me, Anvil. I like these quests. They are they are really fun, and make me curious and want want me uh, or, or and uh, encourage me to do another run actually, but not this time. We will uh, put a cut at this part now and see each other again next time. I wish you farewell and goodbye and blub blub. See you next time.